Hey YouTube, I know I'm in the dark right now, but you know what it is. Same old, different day. Don't worry, the pickups are 2015. I'll probably either do that tomorrow or uh, Friday. The only reason it's taking me so long, like I could have did it uh, New Year's Eve, but I'm literally waiting on this one shoe to come, and it's taking forever because it's coming from overseas. But I'm at the point like I'm tired of waiting. I'll just do it now and just show that shoot another time but this is like a quick little vlog and it's based about what everybody's been talking about the last week and that's the uh song kanye released called facts basically saying easy 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 just jumped over jump man he said it previously and i think was the song it was either i think it was the song click i'm not sure but i know uh was it click or was it it wasn't mercy i know that i'm i'm not really sure but one of them songs on a previous song he said easy jumped over jump man whatever uh my opinion on it when i like i can't really say what kanye is saying but you already know he's outspoken so he's gonna speak his mind regardless but to me my opinion i think he's talking about in the last year not well he did say numbers so i can't I can't stress if he's talking about that because we all, everybody, I agree with everything everybody been saying. The simple fact that there, he's only really preaching that he outsold Jordan because the simple fact they put out limited, limited numbers, like basically meaning it wasn't that many pairs. Like he kept saying it was going to be easy to get in all his interviews, and the price point was going to be uh, affordable. And then when the first one came, that was like damn near impossible to get. You had to be in New York or in New York area to get it. You had to have the Adidas app to get it because I guess everybody was afraid to carry the shoe because they thought they wouldn't sell. They went, they was waiting to see what the uh, success of the first one was going to be. And honestly, I didn't think it was going to sell because everybody said the shoe was hideous. But you put Kanye name on it, for some reason, people are brainwashed and like mindless and they just buy everything that he uh he puts out not not really getting on people that really like the shoe and some people just want to buy it just because it's kanye because my brother really just wanted the shoe because it was kanye wasn't he's a huge kanye west fan and he just wanted to say he had a yeezy because he can't get the ones he really want because those things are out of the, his car don't even cost that much i mean you can get cars cheaper for them for what yeezys cost so with that being said going to what he's saying now i think he's from what i hope that's what he's thinking what he's saying is that he's talking about the popularity because i swear like i'm so sick of seeing yeezy 350 boots and now i'm seeing 750 boots over and over again like i'm so sick of seeing this on my news feed on uh not facebook my news feed on uh instagram or my news feed on uh on YouTube, I swear, if I see another picture of a Yeezy or another video of a Yeezy, I'm going to blow my brains out. Not literally, but it's just, uh, I'm at my breaking point with seeing Yeezys. I'm tired of hearing the name Yeezy. Like, it kills me because sometimes people act like the Yeezy shoe is the only shoe out. And I can't lie, like, Yeezy to me, but Kanye, he's like the, the new age Jay-Z. And what I mean when I say that is that if people don't re re remember when Jay-Z was younger, and he was like, I mean, he's still one of the best rappers considered to a lot of people. I don't really, I'm not a huge fan, but to most people, he's considered one of the best rappers living now next to Lil Wayne to me. But to everybody else, he's like the greatest rapper alive right now. So with that being said, when he was at his prime, where there was like nothing but Jay-Z on the radio, everything this dude touched or did, everybody emulated. He had... When, when everybody was wearing jerseys, he switched over and started wearing button-ups, fitted caps, uh, either S. Dot Carters or Nike Air Force Ones with jeans. You know, I was doing it. Everybody was doing it. He made everybody go from uh, wearing, uh, what was it, platinum and all that, and rose gold, whatever else everybody was wearing. He started making people wear black diamonds, all black everything. He started making people wear uh, black Jesus pieces. Like, soon as he did that, everybody was wearing that shit. Uh, the the wool skull hats with the ones that got the brims in it like those things was popping back in like the late 90s around 2000 to like whatever time he bring it back out nobody was wearing them you would get you would get talked about like crazy where I'm from if you were still wearing a hat as soon as he wore it in the change clothes video I lied to you not 
all the uh, bootleg stores and all the uh, the Chinese hair stores had them hats the next goddamn day. Like literally, nobody had those hats before them. Right after that, everybody had them damn hats. Like everything this dude touched turned to gold and everybody was, he was making so many brands popular. And I think that's the same thing Kanye doing. I'm not saying necessarily brands, but like everything he touches turns to gold. First, it was polo shirts. He, everybody was already wearing polo shirts, but their sales went up, and they started producing more colors of these polo shirts in various stores. You didn't have to really search for them no more because of Kanye. He had everybody wearing backpacks with blazers, like. But I don't think it was as big as it is now. When he got his first sneaker, and like it became so popular that every time he put out a shoe. It was like it struck gold, and every time he put a shoe on, it became popular. Like, I didn't know why the infrared sixes, like the prices, was going up so much. Everybody kept telling me, I don't know, but that's what I'm told. It's because Kanye wore them uh, USA uh, all red um, Air Max 90s Hyperfuse. I mean, it's a cool shoe. Of course, I'm thinking like everybody's on it because of the Red October, because ever since the Red October came out, all red everything just sells completely or everybody's putting out all red shoes but that one shoe particularly like it's going for twelve hundred dollars and i never understood why like, why does it go for so much and my brother didn't say nothing he just literally clicked on a picture on the internet and kanye was wearing it soon as because before kanye was wearing them I, I was i seen pictures that that shoe wasn't going for nothing it's like they call it the kanye effect like the butterfly effect they call it the kanye effect everything he touches it turns to go and I don't know why because now ultra boost shoes is like the biggest shoe next to the Yeezy on the deal mind you boost right now from what I'm told I haven't tried it yet is that it's like the greatest most comfortable technology out right now when it comes to footwear but from my standpoint before it boost was on Adidas before Kanye got there but it wasn't as popular it was till Kanye started wearing it. So now, every time they make a sneaker list on all these uh, sites, the Ultra Boost sh uh, running shoe is the most popular shoe ever made in the last 10 years. Really? Would it have been that way if Kanye wasn't there? So that's why I think he's saying Yeezy Yeezy jumped over Jumpman because Jumpman is a timeless. I mean, but at some point, like, like, like Biggie said, you're running on top of short like Leprechaun. Like, you can't be on top forever. I mean, Jordan holds a spot in the top, whatever, the top layer, the top kingdom or whatever. He His spot is solidified. But actually being like relevant and prominent in that spot, I don't think that's like so because like the year of every single Jordan, the year of every single Jordan selling out in 10 minutes is like kind of over because of the price. He killed it. And that's another thing. The Yeezys were priced at the low tops, priced at 200, and the high tops priced at 350. That's another reason everybody thought they wouldn't sell. But I think, I guess, since the the quantities were so low, that it built the hype up more. And plus, Kanye is kind of doing the same thing that happened at Nike. Nike, from what he said, Nike was forcing him to put out limited colorways and like taking forever to put the the shoe out, and it made the sh it made people more hype for that shoe. Like people were literally camping out for a month and some change to get a fucking Yeezy, uh, Nike Yeezy. So I mean, really look at it. Uh, it's uh, the low tops. It's the Moon Rock. The Tans just came out or about to come out. The uh, Turtle Doves and the Pirate Blacks. And then the high tops. All you got is the all gray joints. The first ones and the, the all black ones that just came out. So that's like a total of five to six colorways. With that being said, how many colorways? of a Jordan or of a LeBron or something comes out within the, the last two, three months. Like at least seven colorways alone. So y'all are flooding the market and uh, saturating it by constantly doing that. So that's just my thought. My thoughts point blank is Kanye is the most popular when it comes to sneakers right now. Not LeBron, not KD, Kyrie, he's doing his thing, but it's not, it's not on the level of Kanye and Jordan. Uh, he's just going to get that respect because he's been doing it. He create literally, Jordan's created the sneaker game. So he don't even have to be uh, considered in this. Uh, I don't know why everybody always try to uh, put him in a category. I think that's the, I think Kanye, that's another thing. Kanye, even though y'all spoken, it's a strategy to keep the hype on him. You 
put Jumpman name in there, whether you dissing him or talking about him, it's generating more buzz and attention to him. So now you got Marcus Jordan, Jordan's son, uh, defending Jordan. You got LeBron defending Nike. You're just making the popularity of Dita go up and up just off of the talk alone. So in a nutshell, he kind of sort of jumped over Jumpman just by popularity. But other than that, we already know what it is. So rate, comment, subscribe. Y'all can put y'all thoughts in the comment section or tag the make a video response, whatever you want to do. And uh, tag me in it. Let's keep the conversation going.